Are you looking to carry outside of the waistband? Well, we have a new holster review coming your way right now. Brian Kirby here with Take Aim TV. In this episode, we're reviewing the cloak belt outside the waistband holster by Alien Gear. You know, carrying a gun inside the waistband isn't for everybody. Some people don't want to go up a pant size, and some people just don't want to carry inside the waistband. So, if you're one of those people, outside the waistband may be for you. One of the main challenges I found with outside the waistband holsters was making sure they were easy to conceal. I live in a state where concealed carry is your only option for carrying a pistol. This holster hugs close to your body, leaving little to no print, depending on what you're wearing. It also rides high enough so it's easy to cover and you don't have to worry about the bottom of the holster poking out. In typical Alien Gear fashion, the holster is designed with neoprene and their heavy duty polymer. Let's take a look at the holster, starting with what they call their cool vent neoprene. This is designed to rest against the body or an undershirt. As I've said in past videos, this is designed for comfort and breathability. It does act as a nice barrier between the gun and your skin. This is especially true if you have love handles and they're pressing into your gun. But it will add a little thickness compared to a typical Kydex holster. So there's a constant debate in the world of holsters on if you really do need a barrier between your skin and the gun. A lot of guys like the neoprene or the leather hybrid style holsters. Some people prefer Kydex with no barrier. Tell me by commenting below what you prefer. The holster secures your belt with two hard polymer loops. This will fit a 1.5 inch or 1.75 inch belt. Obviously they do what they say they do, it's a belt loop, doesn't get any more simple than that. There is a slight taper to it so it makes sliding your belt in pretty easy. This holster does have a fixed cant and ride height, so unfortunately you cannot customize that. For me personally it worked the way it came, but I would still like to see an option to customize it. The backer is made with ballistic nylon and a steel spring core. This is very similar to the design of the Shapeshift and the 3.5 cloak holster. I've been running both of those holsters for a long time and I have not had one fail on me yet. The so-called alien skin that rests against your pistol grips it nice and firm, but it's not too tight where it makes the draw difficult. I have to say this is a comfortable way to carry. Whenever you are talking inside the waistband versus outside the waistband, outside the waistband is usually going to be more comfortable. Now to be clear, the shell itself is made of heavy duty polymer, it's not a Kydex shell. This is meant to hold the shape longer and not be affected by heat as much compared to some Kydex. Now I personally never had issue with Kydex holsters getting soft or changing their shape from heat, but I have heard some people complain, maybe if you leave your gun in a car or your holster, that the high heat temperatures can, you know, affect the, the mold. But me personally, I've never had an issue like that with Kydex or Alien Gear holsters. Now if you'd like to open carry with this holster, it would work for that as well, but keep in mind it's only passive retention. The retention is adjustable, but it's only passive. So I tested this holster with two different pistols, my Ruger LCP-2 and my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm. Now obviously with the LCP-2 it concealed very well, that's a small gun and doesn't print much to begin with. Now with pretty much shirts, hoodies, anything like that, it's definitely jackets, little to no printing depending on what I was wearing and like the, you know, the size of the shirt. The Smith & Wesson M&P Shield was a little harder to conceal, it's a bigger pistol compared to the LCP, but it still concealed well. I would probably only wear it if I was wearing like a hoodie, an untucked button down, or a jacket. Something like that. When it came to t-shirts, it definitely printed too much for that. So you gotta keep that in mind. What you wear is important when it comes to when you're trying to conceal. And if you're gonna be carrying a bigger gun with this, you have to hopefully expect to be wearing a jacket or a hoodie or something of that nature. You're not gonna probably be able to conceal that under a t-shirt unless the shirt's really baggy. This American-made product comes with a lifetime guarantee and they also have a 30-day test drive. So if you don't like the product, send it back. And in the world of like holster reviews and things like that, what I say may not be what you agree with. I'm sure a lot of you right now disagree with me and some of you may agree with me. So. You know, give it a shot. If you don't like it, send it back and get your money back. I just want to be 100% clear about something, and I'm going to start saying this in a lot of our videos because people, they need to hear it. This is not a paid-for review. This is not an advertisement for them. They're not paying me to say good things or bribing me with products. They did send me a whole for a review, but it comes with specific instructions from Wayne and the people over at Alien Gear to be honest because they use things that I say and other reviewers say to improve their products. So there's no thing if I say something bad, they're gonna, you know, come after me. So I just want you to remember that. For more information on this holster, check out AlienGearHolsters.com. I'd like to say a huge thanks to the Firing Pin in Virgin, New York. They always host us and they allow us to shoot at their range and have fun and test out firearms and all sorts of good stuff there. If you're looking for guns, ammo, accessories, or a cool place to shoot, check them out. They're in Virgin, New York, the Firing Pin. 
As always, thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Carver TV. Remember, stay aware, carry often, and I'll see you next time.